I am super excited to get into today's episode of The Legend of Korra because we left off on some really crazy stuff happening in the last episode. Korra and all them went against the wolf bats in the pro bending tournament finals and at the end of that Amon and his crew came. They showed how powerful they are that they can very easily incapacitate some really strong master benders. They have chi blockers, they're organized, there's a lot of them. They claim to have taken away the bending of the wolf bats. Hopefully that's not true. A permanent removal of their bending powers, but that's what they claim to have done. And that's really scary. I think things from now on are going to get a lot more serious, a lot more high stakes, and I'm really excited. So let's watch today's episode. It's called The Aftermath. Hope you guys enjoy. I still can't believe they're shutting this place down. They have guys, to. <laughs> great news. You don't have to go back on the streets. Oh, right. They were you living there. You can come there. live on Air Temple Island with me. Oh. Asami already invited us to live in her dad's giant mansion. Yep. I had a... I had a feeling. Oh, hey, Cora. I'd love to have you come visit the estate. I don't know. Come on, Cora. We could swim in Asami's pool. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pabu. Looks like our intel was good. There's enough evidence here to bury Cabbage Corp for an eternity. Cabbage Corp? Cabbage guy? I hope he lived a good long life. I'm innocent! Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. We have frozen Mr. Ganlon's assets and are closing Cabbage Corp. No! Not my Cabbage Corp! <laughs> Cabbage Man lives on in spirit. Hey, Cora. Tano? Oh. Oh no, his bending is gone. Whatever Amon did to me, it's permanent. Oh. You gotta get him for me. His whole demeanor has changed. I'm happy to help any way I can. I want these equalists to pay for what they've done. See you around, Avatar. Aww. <laughs> I feel really sorry for that guy. I mean, yeah, he was... I mean, I've said it over and over again. He was scum. He's just not, you know. But he didn't deserve all that. Avatar Korra has arrived. Welcome to paradise. Wow. I want to go swimming. This is the greatest place in the world. Watch this, watch this. Fetch me my towel, good sir. I love this guy. Now pat me dry. Don't forget Master Pabu. Wouldn't dream of it, sir. <laughs> oh. So, what do you have planned for us today? Let me guess. Shopping, makeovers. I have something a little more exciting in mind. Is this their own private track? Pretty cool, huh? Or did they just rent it? Either way. This is where Future Industries test drives their automobiles. Ah. Uh. You want me to take you for a spin? Let's do it. The music in this uh, series is so good. I love it. Okay. I thought the episode was going to be super serious, but it's starting off not, not so much. Well, that guy did lose his bending and his teammates. But it's not all serious. Not all doom and gloom. dangerous geez they're going fast that was amazing i gotta admit i had you pegged wrong i thought you were kind of prissy i mean i've been in self-defense classes since i was this high he's tall emergency emergency never notice how tall she is <laughs> we have a ladies powder room upstairs first door on your right Luckily, the Cabbage Corp investigation has bought us enough time. By the end of the week, we'll be ready to strike. Well, can't really assume too much from that. So you think Mr. Sato manufactured those gloves for the Equalists, then framed Cabbage Corp? Oh. He does have the means. And he has a motive. Poor Cabbage Guy, he was wronged again! 
Twelve years ago, the Agni Kai Triad robbed Sato's mansion. A firebender killed Sato's wife during the break-in. <gasps> oh, no. It's possible he's been harboring anti-bending sentiment all this time. See, now, I've been suspicious of him and Asami since the get-go, but it's either because they really are on? up to no Why good, are they asking or I'm supposed to think they are, and then it's revealed but that they're really not. But I think not. father might be involved with the Equalists. What? Whoa! I don't believe this! Whoa, she just came out and said it. No, you don't just know. That was a mistake. My father is innocent. Just because we're not benders doesn't mean we support those awful equalists. I can assure you, I have nothing to do with those radicals. Cora, now he's going to be on the defense. You said the Cabbage Corp investigation bought you time and you're getting ready to strike. My number one competitor was knocked out of the game. It's providing me an opportunity to strike the market with a new line of Sotomobile. It's just business. Might we have a look into your factories and warehouses? <sighs> if you feel it's necessary. If he really is an Equalist sympathizer, now he's going to be on his guard. Extra on his guard. So far, the investigation has yielded no evidence to incriminate Sato. Can't they open the crates normally? Jeez. It would appear Hiroshi is innocent. Okay, you did your search. Now you can all leave. I don't care how cooperative Hiroshi is being. I know he's lying. Are you that jealous of me and Asami? <gasps> what? If you don't drop this, consider our friendship over. Jeez. I don't like this. Stop fighting, Mommy and Daddy. Are those the... Who are those people? Sato people? I think you guys should hear this. If you want to find the truth, meet me under the north end of the Silk Road Bridge at midnight. Oh man, I have no idea like who to who's right and who's wrong here, who to trust. What do you have on Hiroshi Sato? He manufactured those gloves for the Equalists. I knew it! As a secret factory. Where? It's right underneath the Sato Mansion. <gasps> this is getting intense. Do we trust this guy though? Raiding the Sato Mansion is a risky move with Tarlock breathing down your neck. If we're wrong... I know. I can kiss my job goodbye. Oh, jeez. What are you doing here? Where is your father? In his workshop, behind the house. You're really taking these rumors seriously. Chief, the estate's been secured. No one has left the workshop since we arrived. He's underground. That is a really cool mechanism. There's a tunnel beneath the workshop, running deep into the mountainside. What? So if he is in this, I, I believe that maybe she doesn't know about it. That Asami is not. I don't understand. There must be an explanation. We still need to see what's down there. Uh-uh. You three stay up here. Well, I guess they are going to be moving to Airbender Isle, huh? <laughs> maybe. This is huge. Whoa. That's pretty incriminating. Not your average backyard workshop. No. What are those? I'm guessing those are the new weapons. Are those suits for people to go in or are they robots? Looks kind of hollow in there. We need to get down there and see what's going on. Absolutely not. I'm about to. What? <laughs> Oh. oh! Sorry, pal. We know you were just doing your job. Asami, you should stay here. We'll check it out. I have to find out the truth about my father. Please. All right. If I were her, I'd be like, no, I'm going. See for myself. But it does show that she trusts him. Huh? I'm afraid you won't be able to metal bend that wall, Chief Big Bong. It's solid platinum. Oh, they have a metal that not even the metal benders can bend. Not even your renowned mother could bend the and metal And I'm sure so water cool. or fire won't do much to them either. Or air. Come out here and- And do not what, easily, young anyways. Avatar? Face the wrath of your bending? Jeez, wow. That source was a setup. You lured us down here. Guilty as charged. This is part of his plan? Much. Ooh. Ouch. 
what? That's cool. It's like a different kind of spin on Aang's, um, air... What do you call it? Air ball that he uses to fly around. Crap. Well, I'd say that was a near flawless test run. Cora was right. We gotta do something. Quick! What are they gonna do? <sighs> Not so fast, boys. <laughs> Sponsoring our team? Supporting the Avatar? It was all just a big cover. Yes. Knew it! And the most difficult Knew part it. was watching my daughter traipse around with a fire-bending street rat like you! Dad, stop! Why? Sweetie, these benders. They took away your mother. They the didn't. love of my life. Join me, Asami. Hell no. Smack it out of his hand. Smack it out. No. I love you, Dad. Let's go! I love her. She's my new favorite character. <laughs> that was awesome. Whew. Ooh, I got chills. I failed as chief. First thing in the morning, I'm handing in my resignation. No. no. I'm going to find my officers and take Amon down. But I'm going to do it my way, outside the law. Oh. I'm yes. sorry I didn't believe you. So, does your offer to live at the Air Temple still stand? Of course it does. And Asami's welcome, too. Thank you so much. After everything she's been through, she's going to need you, Umako. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that was so intense. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. So I was right, but a little bit wrong about some things. I thought both Asami and Sato were up to no good, but I'm kind of glad that it actually turned out that it was just Sato and not Asami. I was so ready to hate her for using Mako for, for being on the side of the equalists with her dad and stuff, but this is... um. A twist that I am very happy with, that she is actually not a part of it and didn't know anything about it. Either that or she's a really great actor, but yeah, I'm pretty sure she she really did have nothing uh, to do with it, didn't know about it at all, and that's crazy. Now the first time I started suspecting Sato was when he showed up at Tarlock's little shindig, because it seemed like the only reason that Asami met Mako and that Sato was funding the fire ferrets was so that they could rope Korra into this anti-equalist task force. So if Sato is a part of the equalists, I wonder, I still wonder if Tarlock is connected to them as well. But that is yet to be seen. I'm also really enjoying Lynn's character a lot. The more that I see of her, she started off as like this very rigid, um, very cold person, picking on Korra maybe for things that, you know, wasn't really Korra's fault. But when Asami attacked her father like that, her own father like that, and when Lynn said that she was going to go after Amon outside the law, oh, those two moments. Those are my favorite moments of the entire series so far, probably, or at least close to it, at least of this episode. So the core of Team Korra has been put together here. We have Korra, Bolin, Mako, and Asami, and of course, Pabu, and of course, Polar Bear Dog. Can't think of her name right now, but her too. And then of course, they have Lin and Tenzin to back them up. I'm getting really excited very very excited about where this is gonna go and i'm 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 invested and i'm enjoying the characters and i think cora is great true it's not avatar the last airbender but i feel like the heart of avatar is still in this show 
and I'm just feeling very emotionally invested and I feel like that is just gonna grow and grow and grow as we go like we're still only on episode seven what okay well thank you guys for watching this episode with me hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye